Okay, and then I'm going to get a little bit off topic here. I'm coming sort of to the end of my presentation, so hold on there. But, um, and I'll show you how this is a little relevant. Uh, there's a technology that, um, uh, it, this is out of Japan. This is a company that's doing three-dimensional television, which you can touch. So I, I was going to show you a, a short clip or movie, uh, but, but I can get it on my presentation. But this is a finger touching a, a, a femtometer. It's one times ten to the minus fifteen uh, guided lasers that when they intersect, they create this, these glowing dots. And they, they can make it into all sorts of shapes and so on. And the reason I bring this up is because this technology has been around far longer than, again, civilians know about. And it's a way that the Air Force is creating orbs in the sky, many orbs, through intersection of these high-powered lasers. Now, you can't see the lasers. So everybody far, thinks uh, they're UFOs, plane, but where and they they're not. Sacked, they'll create a glowing ball. Now, that's great for Air Force because uh, you're ionizing the air, and that creates a radar deflection. So you can, for your enemy, you can make it look like entire fleets are about to approach and bomb and whatnot. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. Um, so, but this is a cool technology that's coming about. So you can imagine combining some of these technologies. Uh, let's say you're reading someone's dream. Well, you can touch it and change it in three dimensions. <laughs> I mean, there, there are a lot of, there's a lot of possibility, a lot of potentials there. I worked on uh, eye tracking, eye gaze interfaces uh, for the military.